Welcome to the AI image generator Smackdown. By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of exactly which AI image generator is best for you and which one produces the most realistic cinematic results. So the way we're gonna be running this test is we're gonna be using Flora, which is an intelligent canvas. It basically allows you to use multiple AI creative tools in one space. I've used this for the last few months, building out various different short films, ad campaigns, and social media content. And essentially it's an intelligent canvas. So it allows you to bring your story campaign or your content onto one canvas using multiple different tools and essentially using AI to build out your story from start to finish. You may be familiar with the likes of Night Cafe and Comfy UI, which are similar tools, open sourced and cheaper, but I do find Flora to be much a much better experience and have so many more features that allow me to build stories much quicker. These are the types of tools you can find within Flora. And if you enjoy learning about AI creativity and all these new, weird, and wonderful new tools, head over to Escapism AI and sign up for my free newsletter where I share the latest AI creative trends, tools, and tutorials to help you future-proof your creative career. So let's jump in. Exactly how are we gonna be running this test? So here I am in Flora, and basically how Flora works is you can build out text nodes, you can build out image nodes, and you can build out video nodes. So I've set this up already based off of the models which we're gonna test today. So here, this is an image node, and here I've got a text node just explaining what each of the models is, uh, their usability, pricing, quality, and speed. So you can see the different AI image generators you can use here. We've got Flux, we've got Imagine by Google, ChatGPT Image, Ideogram, Luma Photon, Recraft V3, and Stable Diffusion. Midjourney isn't currently uh, integrated into Flora, but I've included it here at the bottom and I will be generating those images directly in Midjourney. So this is how we're gonna run it. We've got three different tests all producing different results. So this here is an image node and we're gonna be creating a landscape image here and we'll be using the exact same prompt for every different model. Here we have a portrait shot of an Asian woman and with very specific details in terms of style and lighting. And then lastly, we have something in between where we have a wide angle shot with multiple figures. This will be a, a good test to see how each of these image generators produces multiple different characters within one scene. So let's start out with Flux Pro 1.1. So I'm gonna hit go on this. So we've got our prompt and we're just gonna hit uh, submit. And with Flora, these work pretty quickly to produce a result. So in terms of usability, uh, you can access Flo um, Flux in a multitude of ways. The pricing is decent comparative to other tools and the quality is pretty good. Uh, perhaps not quite as good as Flux Context, which we'll test next. And here you see that result. That's a pretty solid shot. It's not super detailed, but I think that's a pretty good start. Uh, in terms of speed, we've got some notes here and the extras that it supports 2K resolution. This is a good option uh, for those who want a bit more creative control over their images, but it can be a, there can be a bit of a learning curve when it comes to using Flux. Then Flux Context Max, it's basically like an upgraded version of Flux Pro. So again, we're gonna use the same prompt. We'll hit submit and see what that comes out at. Uh, you can also see the pricing within, uh, within Flora. So if I scroll down to this one, you can see here it uses X amount of credits and some are much higher than others, but for images, it's pretty, uh, pretty
pretty affordable compared to video generators. Okay, so you see here, I actually prefer the, the look and feel of this one, but you can see this one is also solid and it does a good job with the reflections. Okay, interesting. Then we have Google Imagine 4. Let's hit submit on that. So this is very usable. All Google, uh, all Google products seem to just have a very good user experience. Pricing wise, it's comparable to the others and the photorealistic renders with fine details and industry leading typography in terms of quality. And Imagine 3 is, is very fast, um, much quicker than a lot of other tools. And yeah, I mean, that's uh, also a pretty good output. And you can see there's quite a lot of detail in terms of the rocks, the hills, and the reflection looks pretty solid, um, especially with that flare of the sun. Then we have ChatGPT Image. You'll probably be very familiar th with this one, uh, one of the more popular ones. I do find ChatGPT Image has a very specific look, which can often come off as AI generated uh, without being overly realistic. So if you have ChatGPT uh, Pro or ChatGPT teams you can use this uh, basically for free if you're paying the $20 a month it's not for free but you get unlimited variations uh, ideogram one not one that I've used a lot to be honest um, but let's give that a go and see what the output is we're gonna move a little quicker here so luma photon also one that I haven't used a hell of a lot uh, we've got Recraft V3. I've used this a handful of times. Let's see what the output is. Stable Diffusion, one of the OG image generators. Uh, you can see that the quality will depend on a couple of different tweaks that we make. So for all of these images, I've selected a cinematic style within, uh, within Flora. That's also very nice, not super detailed and a little bit blurry in places. Uh, also, not a bad shot. Um, this two, this one's looking a little bit too symm symmetrical, to be honest, um, but also not a bad output. Likewise with this, maybe a little bit too symmetrical. Uh, so if we zoom out here, we can start to get a sense of how each of these look compared to the others lastly down or down here we've got we have mid journey so all i'm going to do is just copy this prompt we're going to go into mid journey drop that in let's check the settings so we want version 7 we want it to be landscape i'm going to leave these all low uh, because i don't need them to be stylized weird or uh, really differ in variety so once we've got that this is going to produce four images cool so we've got that test done i'll drop the mid journey image in when it's when it's completed okay so these are all pretty solid results uh, all usable and you can argue that some are better than others just looking at the eye test personally i think uh Flux 1.1 and Recraft are probably the most interesting in terms of looking at the thumbnails. Uh, let me know if you if you differ in your opinion. And likewise, if there's an image generator that we aren't using here that you use that you think we should give a give a test, then let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's jump into the next scene. We'll do the exact same thing. Um, again, this is more of a portrait style image. We got Flux Pro, uh, that is now submitted. We got Flux Content, Context. Then we have Imagine, ChatGPT Image, Ideogram. I think this will be a much more interesting test to see exactly what the portrait looks like because this is quite a simple test in terms of producing a, a landscape. Then recraft. Let's go stable diffusion, and then likewise, I, 
can't copy and paste this now. Uh, okay, so we're getting some results here. Another thing I love about Flora is it's just so much quicker than using all of these tools individually. So let's go over to Mid Journey. Okay, so it's produced some four interesting images. I'll select one of those and drop them into the, the Flora canvas, but let's go ahead with the next test. Cool, so I really like the look of this, very dramatic and pretty realistic uh, in terms of the, the look and feel of it, but not much in terms of background detail. Also very good, flux context. This one's a little softer, so you can kind of tell that this is AI, uh, AI generated. And there's various ways you can improve this. So if you do find your images coming out a little bit too clean and AI looking, you can run it through a tool like Enhancer to add things like skin texture and make it more realistic looking. Okay, this is a bit of a different approach. It's more like a, it's, so Rembrandt lighting, this kind of looks like a Rembrandt painting to a degree. Um, but I love how dramatic that is. This one's a little bit different, um, maybe less cinematic, but still interesting. That's ideogram. Photon, this looks very soft and like almost ghost-like, but uh, pretty cinematic in its look and feel. Recraft, if we zoom in here, her eyes are a little bit, a little bit wonky there, but uh, great skin texture. So this actually looks realistic. You can see tiny little wrinkles there. Her ear looks a little bit off. Um, this one, not great. Uh, stable diffusion. Yeah, not impressed with that. Let's see what Mid Journey's come up with. Okay, so these are decent, but a bit soft. There's almost like a haze over these, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, so if we zoom out here, I'd say my favorite, this one definitely pops the most, uh, the ChatGPT image one. I love the how dramatic the Flux Pro one is. Uh, and all fairly decent except for the Stable Diffusion one. Now we could, we could rerun this and get a different result, but for the sake of consistency, I'm gonna do one image per model. So if we move on to test three, this is uh, more of a scene with three different figures and it kind of combines an element of a landscape and multiple portraits into one. So let's hit Flux Pro, Flux Context, Imagine, ChatGPT Image, Ideogram, Photon. Recraft. And stable diffusion. And then, before it's too late, no, never mind. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me see if I can. So we're going to hop back into mid journey. Let's drop this in. See what it comes up with. Okay, so we've got some results here. Let's have a look. Okay, this is decent, but it, it feels quite AI generated and a little bit, it kind of lacks a uh, real feeling to it. And I think these two characters facing forward, that one's facing away. Um, okay, a little bit better, but not super clear in terms of the subject matter or composition. This is a bit weird. Uh, imagine not really what we were looking for and not particularly usable. Um, this is quite interesting, could be developed further. And then, yeah, I guess the lens flare here creates an interesting look, but this looks a little bit cartoonish to me. And then likewise, this guy's got two guns, so yeah, not perfect in terms of composition and this looks like something out of a cartoon movie uh, okay let's hit go on recraft again this is fairly interesting 
Um, not super clear figures, but I like the the lighting and the look and the reflections uh, along the bricks. Let's see what Mid Journey's come up with. Okay, so similar. Um, I quite like this one. This one looks like a comic book. This one's not super clear. And yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. So if we look at this, it's fairly detailed and we can always choose to upscale these and edit them. But if we look at the results here from afar, in terms of which ones pop the most, I, I really do find that uh, the Flux Pro 1.1 is good. I also really like the Recraft. Again, all pretty usable. Then test two, I love how dramatic this one is. Um, the Flux Pro one, Flux Context is also very good. Aside from the wonky elements in here, this one's also very well lit. And uh, with a bit of texturing on the skin, I think that could work really nicely. Uh, this one too, it also pops quite nicely. So, Based off of these, I definitely think Flux Pro 1.1 and Flux Context are probably the best in terms of getting a result straight off the bat. Uh, each have their own little strengths and weaknesses and to do a test properly it might be worth uh, running all of these multiple times. With Mid Journey, again, what I love about Mid Journey is how quickly it produces four variations. Um, probably not the best in terms of look and feel compared to the others. And these, these two are also a little bit flat looking uh, comparatively. So which one should you choose? I think if you have a, an existing uh, image generator that you enjoy using the most, continue using that. But if you're looking for cinematic realism to produce the absolute best image, which you can then use to either build out a story or uh, turn into an AI video, then personally, I think the ones to stick with and test uh, with multiple different images are Mid Journey, ChatGPT and Flux. Uh, having said that, that's not to say you can't achieve realistic cinematic results with these other tools. And no doubt there are other image generators out there that can produce uh, really high quality results. If there are and you have used them, please drop them down in the comments and I'll take a look at those. But I hope this gives you an idea of, of what you can do with AI image generators and particularly with Flora, which allows you to piece all of these different pieces of your story onto one canvas. So I hope that that helps you to figure out which AI image generator is best for you. Uh, I didn't go deep into pricing here. It depends on how much you're using it and whether you're on a specific plan. So as mentioned with ChatGPT, if you're on the paid plan, you get unlimited image generators uh, or generations. I often use the, uh, the API version of ChatGPT, which is considerably more expensive, but produces images much quicker. Uh, personally, I'm gonna be using and will continue to use a combination of Midjourney, ChatGPT, and Flux, which are my favorite AI image generators at the moment. I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know if I've missed any AI image generators in the comments and if you've managed to find any tweaks or hacks to improve how cinematic and realistic your images come out. And again, if you love learning about AI creativity and you wanna dive deeper and stay informed without becoming overwhelmed, sign up for my free newsletter at escapism.ai. Thank you for watching.